welcome to everyone uh, let's move on to the next part of our uh, syllabus is the uh, physical properties of uh, carboxylic acids so friends uh, keep in your mind is a very uh, simple concept of physical properties of carboxylic acids is the carbon number in c1 to c3 it means uh, methionic acid uh, ethionic acid and propionic acid or formic acid acetic acid or propionic acids they are available in a colorless colorless liquids these three acids are colorless liquids with pungent odor very simple formic acid acetic acid and propionic acids are the colorless liquids with pungent odor and the next one that is the c4 to c9 and butyric acid onwards or butyric acid onwards they are available in your component is very simple they are is an oily liquids yeah oily liquids in your component and more than this this more than this means more than this means c10 onwards they are available as a waxy salts carboxylic acids first three are colorless liquids with pungent odor and next the six components are oily liquids and c10 onwards they are available as an waxy solids the very important part is benzoic acid and the homologs means the aromatic carboxylic acids are colorless solids this is the first physical concept of carboxylic acids aliphatic as well as aromatic i repeat the first three is aliphatic cases they are colorless liquid oily liquids and waxy solids in aromatic carboxylic acids means benzoic acid and their homolog means the corresponding same components are available in colorless solids and the very important category in second one is a boiling point as boiling point of carboxylic acids are higher than corresponding alkene yes carboxylic acids boiling point is always higher than the corresponding alkene because they involve in intermolecular hydrogen bonding phase why carboxylic acids are having a higher boiling point because they involve in intermolecular hydrogen bonding as compared with corresponding alkene this is a very simple part of our syllabus the concept of based on boiling point and the next one solubility very simple friends the solubility of carboxylic acids means lower carbo carboxylic acids are soluble in water lower carboxylic acids are soluble in water like example acetic acid and formic acid can easily soluble in water due to the hydrogen bonding due to hydrogen bonding but higher carboxylic acids are partially soluble or insoluble in carboxylic acid due to the hydrophobic character so as a due this is the major reason of solubility of carboxylic acid only lower but the all carboxylic acids are major part this is a major solubility in either alcohol or ether things this is the next concept then solubility is very important the carboxylic acids are lower carboxylic acids are soluble in water due to the hydrogen bonding and the more number of carboxylic acids are soluble either alcohol or in ether this is a simple physical properties of carboxylic acids friends i once again repeat these concept the physical property of carboxylic acid the previous first three carboxylic acids are colorless liquids and then next six carboxylic acids are highly soft liquids and more than 10 carbon atoms that is they are waxy solids benzoic acid and their homolog means the aromatic carboxylic acids are basically colorless solids the boiling point of carboxylic acids are always higher than corresponding alkenes because they involving intermolecular hydrogen bonding 
and solubility of carboxylic acid you keep in your mind the lower carboxylic acids are soluble in water due to the hydrogen bonding but higher carboxylic acid the major solubility of carboxylic acids in organic solvents like alcohol and ether this is a simple physical properties of carboxylic acids as mentioned in our syllabus apart from this friends as in the small the chemical properties of carboxylic acids as major carboxylic acids are having the chemical properties as let us begin one by one in our syllabus mentioned the first one carboxylic acid is react with ammonia this what happens when ammonia reacts with a carboxylic acid the very simple is a chemical properties the first one action with ammonia so the very simple nh3 ammonia as what happens very simply i have to consider coh this is your carboxylic acid when this carboxylic acid undergoes react with ammonia keep in your mind ammonia is a base when base is combined with an acid the formation of corresponding salt is rcoo nh4 name of this compound ammonium salt of carboxylic acid generally or either you can pronounce ammonium salt of carboxylic acids are also known as the ammonium alkanoate salts and it undergoes ignite carefully just to remove the water this is an a loss of water you remove the two hydrogen and one oxygen what it remains your friends r c o only and now it is an h the formation of the compound is basically alkyl amide or amides yes start here the carboxylic acid undergoes react with ammonia to form an salt which undergoes ignite to loss of water to form an amide this is as simplest we start with an example is a ch3 cooh you know the name of the compound acetic acid or iupac ethanoic acid what happens when ethanoic acid is react with ammonia and now the compound is ch3 cooh4 name of this compound is ammonium acetate or ammonium ethanoate it undergoes ignite the loss of water to form ch3 c double bond o nh2 i think you already know the name of this compound acid amide or ethanamide this is a simple first chemical reaction of our syllabus a chemical property what happens when carboxylic acid is react with ammonia friends this is the formation of amides corresponding amides will be formed yes and uh, this video we can cross the several physical properties and uh, including one chemical property is reaction with ammonia yes friends you keep uh, practicing this uh, physical and chemical properties and in the next video we continue the part of chemical properties of carboxylic acids thank you thank you so much